Hi everybody. Welcome to my new mixed media piece that started off with a watercolor wash. I had no intention of creating any particular image and was going back to an old technique I use usually in pencil where I would just close my eyes and scribble and then open them and find whatever I could find in those lines. But in this case, I really wanted to start with a different medium and see where that took me in a sort of subconscious way. And I think it went into some pretty interesting directions. Um, I have been reading a lot on uh, Buddhism and the philosophy behind it. And one of those, um, at least one of those concepts sort of pops up in this image in, in my interpretation. And you'll see that and I'll talk about that when I get to it. But what I started with was just using a micron pen and some white ink. You can see as this process goes along, my workspace gets messier and messier, which is pretty typical for me. Um, I was using inks, white gel pens, water soluble pencils. Um, I was sort of too lazy to go get another palette. So I started mixing on top of my watercolor pan. I don't, I don't really feel like that ashamed about it. That's just part of the creative process. I hate getting up and getting something when I'm right in the middle of it. Um, I was also using some water soluble, or I should just say watercolor pencils, um, which I think like depending on the brand you get, they can be really different. Some of them really retain the drawing line, which you may or may not want. Others really do just kind of break down and become more of a wash. Uh, one thing that I find I've been doing a lot lately is these scenes with mountains in them. Um, yes, I absolutely love mountains and where I'm living right now, there's not a mountain in sight and that kind of gets on me. It's like mountains and water are two elements that I really want in my landscape and if I don't have them, I just feel like something's missing, like I can't escape anywhere or I can't get the right vantage point to sort of look down and gain any perspective and so that's that's something that's definitely been on my mind um, I really think that yeah as as you evolve as an artist you get these repeat offenders in a sense like sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's not um, in terms of your symbols your personal symbols and I've definitely got this call you know towards circles and compass like shapes and that popped up pretty quickly in this image it's almost like this uh, ever lasting urge to find a new direction in in my life um, I think that I have it in me to be this vagabond wanderer and it's just not in my nature to really put down any particular roots and it's like i'm on this sort of everlasting journey and my idea of home is not necessarily a physical idea of stability or permanence i feel like that's the um, sort of enemy of my nature and the the endless journey is really the ultimate destination and um, that that's something that that certainly popped up I ended up titling this piece finding a way home um, sort of addressing that idea and one of those Buddhist concepts that I've been thinking about a lot is this idea of grasping at what is always going to be impermanent that everything is impermanent and if you can see it closely enough. There's a little tiny house at the towards the bottom in the middle of all those trees and you'll see that I'm going to add a bit of a smoke coming out of the chimney and that those creature comforts of home are kind of I think where that was coming from this idea of the fire and um, the smoke ends up sort of dissipating and widening and just going up into the unknown in the image and there's uh, a little sort of a sea monster in the water down at the bottom and he became this creature that symbolized um, the 
unknown trials that we might face that are lurking around the corner that aren't necessarily dangerous or your enemy or your downfall but they might pop up and push you into a different direction that you wouldn't have expected or make you rise to some new challenges and pretty soon i'll be adding another little figure that's kind of canoeing through the lake completely unaware of this new trial that's popping up so that's part of that whole scene i have a dirigible up in the air partly because of that fascination i have with transportation and and speed and and how that's evolved and the means of physically getting around Um, and also just the mysterious upper elements in the sky um, they kind of popped up for me there's usually a bird in my imagery at least one there's so many uh, that that have popped up repeatedly throughout my artwork in different contexts i i think birds are um, a huge part of my personal symbolism so this was a really meditative piece for me um, and i hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe and i'll see you again next time